delivery boys of reddit what is the weirdest delivery you ever did i was delivering a pizza and after i knocked on the door i heard a faraway voice yell coming so i waited after about a minute i hear the same voice a little closer yell almost there just wait this continues for several minutes with the voice coming closer and closer until the person finally reaches the door and opens it i'm expecting to see someone at eye level However instead I'm greeted by a smiling person on the floor, who had no legs, and dragged themselves across the house to answer the door. I offered to put the pizza inside for them in the kitchen, and they were pretty appreciative. So I delivered like 5 pizzas to this guy once. I had to ring the doorbell several times, before he came to the door. When he got there he didn't really say anything, except to come on in real quick. Now you aren't supposed to go in people's houses, but I decided who cares I can defend myself. I get inside this guy's huge house and it's full of weird shit. There was a full suit of armor right by the door. And somewhere he had this Halloween CD playing creepy. Deep voiced laughs. While he's searching for his wallet the biggest dog I've ever seen, walks up to me, and falls at my feet pushing me over. So I'm sitting next to a suit of armor petting this huge ass dog waiting for this middle aged man to pay me. He gave me a $40 tip. The guy who answered the door looked like he had just seen a ghost and was a little jittery, so I'm pretty sure he was on some kind of drugs. Anyways, he hands me $10 for a $15 bill and tries to go back inside really quick. I realize that he didn't hand me enough money, so I knock on the door and tell the guy he still owed me like $5, so he starts patting his pockets and finally pulls his hand out to as if to give me more money, but has nothing in his hand. He extended his hand to give me this imaginary money, and was visually surprised when I wasn't fooled by his trickery. The guy does this two or three more times before having me call my manager to attempt to use his card to pay, even though I'm sure he knew it wouldn't work. At this point he goes back inside because he just heard his room had come in and is going to borrow money from him. So I wait, and I wait, until I knock again. The guy cracks the door, sees it's me, and closes the door again really quick, like he was surprised. I didn't go away. Eventually after about 10 minutes of annoyance, and feeling like I might get stabbed I told the guy I either needed money or the food, which he reluctantly gave back. All in all a very strange experience. T. Doctor. Delivered to a cracked out dude who tried to trick me into accepting imaginary money. It wasn't a delivery. It was at a retail place. But I had a similar experience. A woman would come into a food shop. Order an ice cream. Get to the register. Wait for you to tell her her total. Then nod and slowly. Slew a wally. Turn and walk away. If you said hey you have to pay she'd stop. Look at you without saying anything. And then again start to a warning slow hourly to go. She was older, and maybe from a senior care home nearby. So possible dementia? But it seemed more complicated than that. I mean duck yeah, if you can just take ice cream from teenagers at registers by acting like you are senile why not? She definitely got away with it a lot. The first time I just figured she had some brain function problems and let her have her ice cream. After that I tried to get her to pay. Then I told her to give the ice cream back and threw it in the trash. She would come in maybe once a month. A man answered the door in a robe. The robe was closed. But I guess he wasn't wearing underwear. Because as we're exchanging money, a stream of piss starts to fall between his legs and right onto his own carpet. He doesn't seem to notice or just doesn't care. I take a big step back out of the splash zone and he just keeps making small talk while it's happening pulled up to this easily one dollar five two mill house lady opens the door and as she's signing the receipt i hear bethany willis is in the dog food again this is deep in louisiana so this is all in a typical southern drawl i look behind her and see a man chasing a full-grown pot belly pig wearing an lsu jersey away from what i assume is the dog food area willis returned to the area shortly after delivered 30 pizzas to an amish family about a 35 minute drive the entire family met me outside to grab a pizza i took the rest in and followed them inside to their dining table the elder of the family gestured to me to sit down with them and he pointed to the one open seat i realized that they saved me a seat to eat with them i didn't know too much about the amish back then 
and I wasn't sure how rude it would be to say that in working and couldn't slash shouldn't. I was also thinking on the other hand they could have killed me, remember I wasn't an educated 16 years old, so I sat down and ate two slices of pepperoni pizza with them. I found the girl across the table to be very attractive. They said a prayer of some sort and didn't talk much after that. Just asked my name and how thankful they were for me to drive all that way. I finally had to get back to work. They didn't tip, which was fine. I enjoyed the time with them. Edit, spelling. This was in 2005. I think and it was for Pizza Hut in Fort Wayne. In. Edit 2, the curiousness of how they ordered. I don't know about all families. But I saw a lot of Amish heads of households, fathers typically, carry cell phones for business purposes. Besides farming. A lot of families made furniture for the clothes displays in stores, and at malls and such. They had huge barns to make furniture. They would have huge generators behind the buildings to run the equipment. They can't be connected to city power and the generators couldn't run electricity for the house or lights. But the rules for the barn was different somehow. They aren't as disconnected as one may think. However their house was completely standard by Amish terms. Still had to heat up the bath old fashioned. There were flies all over. No fans. Etc. I didn't see how they kept food cold or fat. All during the summer. No washer slash dryer. But the generators sure did help with their business practices, running tools and such. They also don't drive. But they have vans. And they would hire an on Amish driver to take them to the city sometimes. This was in my first month of delivering pizzas. I pull up to a fourplex, two floors, two apartments per floor, and knock on the correct door. After a minute an old scruffy Russian sounding guy answers the door and says how much. I told him the total, and he walks off to get money. I look over to my right and can see the top of his wife's head poking over the back of a recliner. She is gabbing away with a friend on the phone going on and on. After a minute or two of listening to her wondering what is taking this guy so long, I hear a change jar being emptied on the counter. This guy seriously is about to pay me with all change, and doesn't even have it counted. Shit. I sighed hard, but was thankful we were slow at the time. So I wouldn't really miss out on any money waiting for this guy. So here I am. Listening to this old lady blabbing on. Not understanding pretty much anything she is saying. While I can hear the old man scooting change around as he counts it. Finally after a solid 5 plus minutes of standing there. The man walks out. And says something to his wife in a foreign language. She rotates the chair around. So I can clearly see her. And there is no phone. I immediately stuck my head inside looking for a phone. I can see the table by the chair is empty. And there is nothing in her hands. On her lap. On the floor. I looked everywhere for this phone. There wasn't one. She was literally talking to herself slash the wall. I started going crazy in my head wondering what was going on. She starts talking to the air again. And turns her chair back towards the wall. The guy goes and grabs the money. And hands me a bag. It was filled with nickels and dimes. There was not one quarter. Or silver dollar or anything. I just looked at him. Bewildered. Then to her. Mouth slightly agape wondering what was happening. Is 20 cents for you? I said nothing. I turned around with my bag of changed and walked back to my car. The whole thing took about 15 minutes. Most of which was spent with me standing in a wide open door in the middle of summer listening to a crazy old lady talk to the wall. When I got back to the store I plopped the bag of money down and explained. What happened? My manager says you never know what to expect. Hell a few months ago someone delivered to a porn shoot and saw all the women walking around naked. I never found out if that was true or not. But I like to think it is. Was delivering to a neighborhood that typically was kind of sketch. So I always expected no tip or a small one. I rolled up to this lady's house and she said something along the lines of I don't have the money and my husband will be here in 20 minutes with some cash. It was the last delivery of the night so I wasn't worried about taking too long and then she opened up her garage door. There was a pool table and fridge and TV in there and she gave me a beer and we played pool until her husband came and gave me the money along with a $20 tip. One of the better nights working that job lol. Strangest I had was a girl who put on her special instructions please tell me I'm pretty. I did. She smiled. Said thanks. Closed the door and I never saw her again. Maybe one day I'll get lucky. 
I know of a kid who was a drug addict that had pizza delivered to his house. Once he heard the doorbell. He walked out his back door with a ski mask on and robbed the delivery driver in front of his own home. After that, he walked back around the home and opened the front door from inside pretending to be surprised that the guy was robbed. Eddie had ended up getting arrested, but it was the worst plan ever hatched by someone I knew. I'm imagining the guy forgetting to take off the ski mask before answering the door and wearing the same clothes. I had a delivery that needed to be signed for and nobody answered the door when I knocked. I went to my car to write a notice slip when a woman starts waving me up and pointing to the back of the house. So I walk back and she isn't there. In fact nobody is there. So I go knock on the back sliding door. A guy in his 60s weighing at least 300 pounds answers and is wearing nothing but a small elf shirt. He's kinda pulling the front down to cover his balls, but his dogs were barking, and he spun around, and bent down in their little faces yelling at them. Asshole right in my face. Then he turns back to me, and I ask him to sign for his package. He lets go of his shirt which bounces up to his belly button, and lets his dick and balls fly free. I got the signature and race walked back to the car, to get the hell out of there. It was so uncomfortable. This is probably not answering correctly, but it was still weird. Delivered to this house and I noticed that they were in the garage, so I went over to the garage door. They actually had a whole glass blowing operation in their garage and showed me the hole in and outs of he operation. They gave me a brand new bowl they had just blown and a good amount of weed for a tip. Not weird like uncomfortable just different than the usual. I once delivered pizza to what seemed like a gang house. I pulled up and there are all these intimidating dudes with tattoos and bandanas all wearing the same colored clothes. I puckered up and felt my scrotum shrivel as I awkwardly shuffled past them with a bunch of pizzas to ring the doorbell. They were all staring me down and it felt like the longest walk ever. The person who ordered the pizza must have been the head honcho because he looked like the baddest of the bunch. The total was like $70 and he gave me a $100 bill and told me to keep the change. I bolted out of there and returned back to the pizza place on autopilot because I was so scared. I was a delivery boy for a nation restaurant for a while. Had a delivery down a sketchy, very bumpy road in the back of my small town near all these trailers. When they answered the door, there was a 50 to 60 year old lady standing completely naked in front of me, as well as two men of the same age sitting on the couch with their dongs out. Again. Completely naked. I obviously got out of there as fast as possible. I took her signature and nearly ran away. She yelled at me through the window come inside with us. And I said fuck no as I was walking away. And she proceeded to curse at me as I jogged back to my car. It's interesting what kind of people you meet. I worked for a company called Waiter. Basically we were partnered with certain restaurants and we would deliver for them. It was my last drop of the night, and when I got to the door something smelled rather musky. I knocked and I waited a few moments till the door opened. There stood a man with a massive bong, and stoned beyond belief. It took me a couple of minutes to explain who I was, and why I was giving him his food. He was friendly as could be. He even offered to share his food and weed with me cause I was such a sweet guy for coming all the way out here. Apostrophe. Mid to late 50 year old man comes to the door in an open towel robe wearing spider man unders. Edit, this is a first of my comments to get any attention. So I didn't think to put more. I was a Chinese food delivery girl back in high school. This gentleman opened the door very casually and honestly. I didn't think much of his undies. What was really funny was from the other room I hear what I assumed to be his wife call out. Is that Chinese or pizza? Did I win? Exclamation mark. Apostrophe. The man saw the white plastic bag inside. You won. Apostrophe. As he was closing the door, after giving a generous tip all I could hear was a celebratory woo from the woman. That's a man who knows how to live. I delivered pizzas for a few years in college. One of my deliveries to a hotel had a guy answer the door in nothing but boxes and a beanie. We trade money for pizza and as I give him his change, I hear another guy yell. Unseen. From behind the corner. If he's cute, let him keep the rest. The guy at the door hands me back the change and smiles. I wasn't sure how to react. So I just turned and left. 
I was delivering pizza once in a pretty sketchy neighborhood and I came up to a gated apartment complex where I saw a dude waving me down. Sometimes customers in apartment complexes used to meet us outside if they knew their complex was complicated. So I'm thinking what a nice guy. Turns out I was horribly wrong. I'll let this complete rando into my car who ducking reeks of liquor and cigarettes. I somehow get the words out. Ah oh, hey man is this your pizza? This dude is barely coherent and responds with, no I need a ride. And I'm just freaking out at this point. Wondering when the weapon or threats were gonna come out. And I nervously respond with, dude I totally would. But I can't I got pizzas. To deliver look check it out. He keeps asking and asking. And I just keep repeating myself saying, if I wasn't working I totally help him out. I'm gonna get fired. Etc. And after about 10 minutes the dude stumbles out of my car and went on his way. So freaky. Lesson learned double check before letting drunk strangers in my car. I was delivering a mobile order for Papa John's and it was really late. I was annoyed because I wanted to take a double to get more tips. When she answered the door she was incredibly hot and was only wearing panties and a jacket with no zipper. Horrible design flaw in my opinion. She had to hold it closed to not expose herself. And she seemed very confused. I said hello missus. Name on order. Sorry about the wait. Here's your pizza. And that was when she said oh she's not supposed to be home for another 4 hours. She could tell that I was wondering why her roommate would order a pizza 4 hours early. And she said my girlfriend. Then another incredibly attractive woman sits up from the couch in the living room completely naked and stretches. Her girlfriend knew that she was cheating on her and ordered her and her mistress. A pizza is a passive aggressive way to show that she knew I had to deliver that kind of poison. I had her sign her girlfriend's credit card receipt so that we could both be rid of that situation for the time being. I delivered a couple pizzas to this old couple who had friends over. She invited me in to put the pizza on the table, which isn't common. But I was okay with, I go in, and they make small talk. Out of the corner of my eye I notice a big purple thing sitting on the TV. Back when all TVs were caught, it was a dildo. That's when I noticed they were everywhere. Counters. Bookshelves. The coffee table. Literally everywhere. There had to be at least a dozen or so spread around the townhouse. They were a very nice, friendly group. And no one at any point addressed the dildos. They tipped well to but it is stuck in my mind forever please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of reddit universe